Alright, hello everybody. Today I will be teaching you how to write a program to solve the quadratic formula for your calculator. So, first thing you have to do is create a new program. So go to PRGM, go over to New, and uh, you can name it Quad for quadratic because you can't fit uh, quadratic in there. It's more than eight letters. So, press Enter. First thing, go ahead and clear the home screen right there and the three variables in the quadratic formula are a b and c so we need to prompt for those now in previous uh, tutorials I've shown you the input but uh, today we're going to use the prompt key because we don't need to display a text string in front of it we just want to display the variable and uh, prompt will do just that so go over to prompt and now enter in the three variables a comma b comma c and press enter so that'll prompt for three variables a and store them as a b and c so the next thing we need to do is find the determinant and the determinant of the quadratic formula is b squared minus 4ac and we need to see if that is negative which will mean that we will have imaginary roots so first thing find the determinant so we take b square it subtract 4ac 4 times a times c and store it as d oops forgot store as d and now we need to do a test using the if statement so if d is less than, which uh, the less than sign is second math under test, d is less than 0, so if it's negative, then uh, then, put that all on one line, then display open the text string no real roots alright so go ahead and type in no oh, okay, so, uh, there we go real roots enter alright now to uh, if the determinant is greater than zero we need to solve the quadratic formula, the rest of it. So, else, go ahead and put in an else. Else, if uh, the determinant is greater or equal to zero, then we will do the next part, which is solving for the, uh, the rest of the equation. And we're going to store it in two variables, x and y, and then we're going to display them together. So first one, go ahead and type in parenthesis, the opposite of b, plus uh, radical, that's not a radical, radical d, square root of d, close parentheses, close parentheses again, divided by 2a, 2 times a, close parentheses, store, store as x. And then we need to do the same, but subtract the determinant. So go ahead and type more or less the same thing in minus, uh, button will plus a minus sign in there, so plus sign. So minus, or opposite of b, minus the square root of d, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, divided by 2a, close parenthesis, store as y. And now we need to display all that, so we go display, uh, open the text string, x equals 
equals no, close the text string comma x our two variables where the data is stored comma y enter and now we need to end the if then else loop by going and uh, putting in an end command and then we can uh, pause the program wait for the user to press enter just eight and then we can stop F and uh, that's all the program so just to review we prompted for the three variables a B and C we stored the determinant as D tested to see if the determinant was less than zero if it was negative then we displayed no real roots because the roots are imaginary and that would give us an imaginary answer and if your calculator isn't in imaginary mode it wouldn't work so we did that and then else if it, the determinant is equal to or greater than zero we actually solved the uh, quadratic formula stored the two values as x and y and then displayed the two values so let's go ahead and test her out go ahead and run the program and uh, let's put in some, uh, some values here 1, negative 7, and 6 should we get 1 and 6 there we are see look at that it works alright uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for a future video where we give this program an upgrade and uh, display some radicals in there and we can uh, have imaginary answers. Alright, till then.